uh, let's see our uh, what is the, what is the subscription hands on so we can see how exactly we can use the subscription and uh, we just covered the theory of a subscription in the last session so i will show you how exactly we can go uh, go and create a subscription in a tenant and how we can create multiple subscription and how uh, we can see how a subscription helps uh, out to uh, go and see the billing details for that specific uh, uh, for the specific uh, you can say a department for which you have made a subscription so now let's go to the Microsoft Azure uh, portal. So now if you see on the right hand side, yeah, it shows me uh, the directory. This directory is nothing but my tenant, Azure demo tenant. And the domain which is linked to my company is uh, the hijamapro.com. This is what the domain details and the uh, tenant detail is. Now inside this tenant, I will make a subscription. Now the, uh, the way to go there is, for example, so you can go to the home. And uh, if you're already on the home, you can see all services here. So on the all services, and before that if you if you can't see this specific option then you can go on the settings and the setting if you see uh, if it is fly out you don't see it but if you can go and make it docked and if you see go and make it dock all the services and every all the options are shown on the left hand side so we'll go with the settings now i go to the all services and here i can go and search for subscription so i can see a subscription now i can tag this so i can just say uh if i say untag and if i tag this if you see on the left hand side it has tagged here so now i can use it and i don't have to go again to the uh, like multiple steps to go and access my subscription so now i will go and uh, this is already tagged so i can drag the subscription uh somewhere in my maybe somewhere here so it becomes easy for me to go and access this now uh, in my subscription if you see i already have a subscription here which is known as the azure demo subscription so now how to create a new one you can if you see here there is an add uh, button here so if you click here you can give a, a name for example say uh, uh let me uh, for example say i say uh, cloud king r d department okay so this is my billing account this is my billing profile invoice sections and everything so uh, i can see all these things here and i can go and create here okay so i'm not creating because i already have a subscription here so again going back to my subscription to my existing subscription here i click here okay so now the beauty here is uh, it's showing me all the uh, details about the services which i've used and the cost which is uh, uh, which i have to pay to azure here so if you see it's just only two cents and it shows me which all services i've used and so yep so now if i click on this cost by resource So it should show me which resources is causing me 0.2 cents. So now let me see. Yeah, let's go to cost analysis. Yes. So in the cost analysis, it will show me which services I'm using in which region I'm using and uh, how much is causing me. Yeah. If you see here 0.2 cents or two cents, uh, I have to pay for the virtual machines and this virtual machine. Uh, yep. And now if you see here, uh, it shows me. Yes. This is in the US East location. And the resource group name in which my machine is is 0.2. Uh, this is the test one RG. This is my resource group in which I have this machine and this and this machine location is US East. This is how it can break down and give you all the details about the service and also gives you a chart where it projects. Okay, if it if it goes in the same way, what is the projection for the uh, upcoming days, uh, which you can see in your subscription. Now, now if you want to track your subscription, okay, I don't. I if you want to track means if you want to add an alert, so I can go and add an alert to my subscription and say okay anything uh say for example say i say track dollar alert here and this is for my subscription uh as your demo sub okay it doesn't like it okay so let me put this okay now i can do monthly quarterly or annually so let me go monthly and this is a start and the end date and let me see my amount is for example say one dollar so anything which goes about uh, above one dollar it should go and give me an alert okay so something is going on in your system in your uh, subscription which is uh, consuming this specific amount and uh, this dollars so if i go and create next okay so now it's asking me for configure the alert condition and send the email notification now my budget is uh, one dollar now if i say uh, if i reach a uh, hundred percent so if I reach 100% of my budget, which is $1, if it is $1 here, see, now, so go and give me a uh, alert on my email. So if I say, this is my email, which I've given here. 
and I can give multiple emails here and then this is my default language it can be your English language English UK or English US and then you can create it now if I want okay uh, not 100% but before uh, before that maybe like 50% so if I reach point 5 cent uh, of my uh, of my budget which is one dollar then give me an uh, alert if I say okay no I just need 10 uh, 10 percent so point 0.1 so anything which goes about 0.1 cents, uh, it will give you an alert in your uh, in the system on that uh, on the email ID. So now what I will do is I will go and create here. So this alert is created at the subscription level. So any uh, any any resource which is part of the subscription and any resource which is causing or shooting up uh, maybe independently or combined, it will go and create an alert. It will send an alert to the email ID which is uh, registered there. So hopefully this gives an idea uh, what exactly the subscription is and how you can see the billing of uh, in that subscription how you can create multiple subscription how you can create an alert in the subscription even you can go and create a budget here so there is no yeah so this is the budget what i've created here so when you create an alert it creates a budget here so my budget is uh, one dollar which is for monthly so in one month i'm not uh, allowing my system or my uh, subscription to go above one dollar and if there is anything going up it will send me an alert here so if you see there is an alert condition here so 10% of my budget, if it goes, uh, anything goes uh, beyond 10% of my budget, give me an alert. So at least I can go and see which services are uh, using my um, my subscription and which services are up and running. Maybe uh, I forgot to uh, delete this uh, the specific service or a VM which I'm using and this is causing me a lot of dollars. So this is how you can track and make sure uh, you're not overcharged or you're not charged by uh, Azure because of your uh, mistake. So this will keep on alerting you. So hopefully this was useful to you guys and in the next lecture we will cover more hands-on uh, on the upcoming topics. Thanks for watching.